The waiting is nearly over for the semi-finalists, and although with just 12 couples left, it should go a lot quicker for the adjudicators, it still plays havoc on the nerves of the competitors, while the audience simply enjoy themselves on the dance floor. And although the break is nerve-wracking, it's also vital for the competitors to rest, but at the same time keeping themselves up at a peak, which for the audience is a lot easier. to the last six and with the standard of dancing expected to get even higher than before i'm joined by ex-dance champions lillian dooley and dave campbell to give some expert comment on the dancing but the scores go up at last scotland still leading the chase for the championships ahead of finland both german couples the united kingdom and italy we've got the final to go now and uh Wait for the rest, wait for the judicators to make up their mind. Then, with the competitors now knowing the finalists, it's a draw to announce them to the audience in a very different way. Lillian, as organiser of this year's World Championships, you came up with this unique introduction to the finals. How does it work and why this change to tradition? Well, in between the semi-final and the final, the couples draw for the different reveal that they will be utilising as an introduction to the final. And the reason we did this is because it's a great achievement to make a final in the World Championship of this nature. And we wanted to give each couple an opportunity be to be presented to the 7,000 capacity audience and also to make each couple feel extremely important. Sandro Cavallini and Hannah Kartunen. United Kingdom, Brian Watson and Karen Hardy. From Germany, Ralph Müller and Olga müller Amolchenko. Yuka Hapalainen and Serpa Satari. From Scotland, Donnie Burns, MBE, and Gaynor Fairweather, MBE. Also from Germany, Alan Tornsberg and Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> 